guys, Cindy over here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about my book review for this month, and I'm actually going to do a couple little, like, lessons out of this. Um, this is a book that when I very first started Mixed Media that Gina Ahrens um, recommended to me, and it's called Learning to See, Figure Drawing, and it's by a gentleman named Peter Jenny, J-E-N-N-Y. Um, says in the USA it's $12. Well, what he does is he actually takes the introduction to drawing the human figure. Let me move this for a second. Um, and he breaks it down. And he breaks it down into different um, styles. I don't want to say styles. Different methods on how to draw a human. All this is, this is a piece of chain. Like a necklace that he has just arranged in a, a pattern that looks to you like a human which I thought that was kind of cool. He talks about, um, you know, what your need is, what your desire is. Can you do a correct drawing using your imagination? Um, here's another piece of uh, the metal, the necklace. Look at these. How cool is that? And it's all just done with a chain. And it's just really, really neat the way he has arranged this chain to actually look like people, right? So, like I said, he has a lot of different techniques on how to do this, how to get people. I'll just kind of give you a quick flip through like this. Um, many different ways he talks to you about how to draw the people, um, how to do it out of ink blots, how to do it out of matchsticks, um, silhouettes, surrounding the person, action figures, just the whole caboodle of a person. So what I'm going to do, this is chapter four and this is called Doodle and I'm going to do this in my my year journal and he has done this with a pencil but I'm not going to do it with a pencil, I'm actually going to do it with this Bic Market. Um, because I'm just going to use this whole page and we don't need to worry about these. These are my stats for my social media. I had told you guys before that I hadn't done that in a while. So um, I'll put them back in that pocket in a minute. And then this is my book review tag, which I will put that on there also. But for now, we're going to do um, doodle in the way he suggests to do this. Um, he says, the trivial, incidental, and random that result from doodling form the basis, basis of this exercise. Subtle movements with the pencil on the surface of the paper generate figures that arise slowly. Allow your pencil or brush to glide over the paper, altering the pressure on your tool and creating swelling and ebbing forms so that arms, legs, a body, and a head slowly surface from the marks. Now this is what he did. And I just, I think it's really cool because, uh, like I said, I'm going to use a pen, pen and I'm just going to try to do what he did. And I can tell you right now, it's not easy. <laughs> look, at, look at the size of that arm. <laughs> yeah, this isn't easy. You know, I think it's um, trying to figure out what the human form is as far as moving your pen. All right, so there's my very first human form doodle. Different, huh? But I'm liking this. So let me, let's say he's bent down. So let's say here's an arm. I'm gonna make his body a little bit bigger. Here's another arm. That's his head. Okay. See, it doesn't, his looks so different than mine. You can tell he's done this a lot longer. <laughs> but hey, it's fun, right? So let's, I want to do this again. I just want to do a human body. So let's say here's, here's my stick figure. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. person's got a big head. All right, so let's do this again. So see, he's got this. All right, so basically what he does is he starts drawing here. Okay, and then he's got a neck. And then he has shoulders, right? 
here's a shoulder, here's a shoulder. It's got an arm and a joint, an arm and an elbow. Here's his arm. See, it definitely takes practice. It's not something that you can just sit here and do um, unless you've practiced this. And, you know, this is actually kind of cool. I kind of like these peoples um, because it's just going to help with the whole human form. All right, now see, here's where he just did it a little bit different. He basically made really thick marks, okay? And then the other one that really intrigued me was, this is where he wrote people. And what he says about this is, write figures, first with the flowing unbroken lines, cursive, then with bold, simple brush strokes. The lines of figurative forms, dynamic in the first case, incisive in the latter, move between these two extremes. Try to investigate the overlapping of handwriting and drawing. So he drew these people. All right, this one looks relatively easy. Okay, you're going to draw. Here's, you know. All right, so there's that. Very, you know, that one's realistic. So, or, yeah, realistic. That one was very easy to do. So something like this, you know, he's talking about... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like this. Does that look a human? No. It's it's just very interesting. It's very interesting the way he's got um, this whole concept. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm not going to do every lesson in this book. Now this one he does big strokes, so here's a big one. And here's a person. Arm, arm, leg. Those look relatively simple, right? So here's a head, here's the body, here's a leg, arm, another arm. So those look relatively simple. Again, I think a lot of it is just learning how to put um, the body in a form that's recognizable, if that makes sense. So here's the body, here's the arm. Interesting. All right, so I could keep going on this all day long because I think this is really cool and just really interesting to do. Um, let me see. There was one other one in here that I wanted to look at. This is a really cool book. It, it's definitely, if you're into drawing and you want to learn how to draw different things, um, definitely check out this book. Now this one, he basically does swirls. Okay, so he's just, he's swirling around. I always make people's heads so big. All right, let's pick a littler one. Still not little. So here's the head. Here's the body. Here's a leg. This looks like the Michelin Man. Right? So it's just very interesting how he takes the concept of a different style to make these bodies. Really, really cool. All right, so... Again, there's my book review for this month. Uh, definitely check it out. It's called Figure Drawing, and it's by Peter Jenny. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll help you any way I can. Um, definitely check it out. It's a really great book. I'm, I'm glad Gina recommended it to me um, a couple years ago. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, thanks so much for watching, and have fun. That's what life's all about. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.